The first portion of this video will guide new users through the software installation. Dextronics will send you a link to download on your computer. The software can be installed on Apple Mac OS and, of course, Microsoft Windows XP 7, 8, and 10. While waiting for the download to complete, you may want to set up your new BT recorder. Please connect the ECG lead cable, not the USB cable, to the transmitter. You should hear a confirmation beep. This indicates that your VET ECG has turned on. Now that your recorder is turned on, you need to pair it to the computer. Here's how to pair a Bluetooth device with Windows. Pairing on a Mac computer is similar. Click the Bluetooth icon in the bottom right toolbar, then click Add a Bluetooth device. Select the recorder you want to use. If prompted, enter 0000 as the passcode and click Next. Your recorder is now paired. Go back to your browser to finish the software installation. Select Keep, then click to begin installation. If using Windows 8, select More Info, then Run Anyway. If you're unsure how to bypass the security features on your computer, please contact Dextronix and we'll assist you. Wait for the installation to finish. When prompted, click Next. When finished, you should be able to open the software. Click the VET ECG icon on your desktop. After launching the software, you'll see this archive window where recordings are saved. Exit this window for now and click the settings icon at the top right to enter your license key. Click Licenses tab and then New Entry. Select Recording License and then enter or copy the key exactly into the field. Click Save. Open the ECG Recorder tab. Click Find Sensor and then select your recorder from the menu. Make sure that you apply the correct region or line filter. This is very important because it is used to filter out artifacts. The channel configuration determines the type of lead cables used. Select 6 lead for the 4 pole cable and 12 if using the chest lead set. Open the Practice Stamp tab now. Here you can enter your credentials, hospital address, website, phone, etc. This information will appear on the printed report. Open the Print Settings tab now. Here you can adjust how much you want printed, change layout, and also set a default printer. We suggest to use PDF to save paper. Choosing Dialog as the file output will prompt you to manually select where to save the recording every time you print. Open the Screen tab. In the Screen tab, you can modify how your ECG is displayed on the screen. 
Adjustments here will only affect how the recording is displayed. Click Save to remember the preferences. Before you can start a recording, you need to create a patient. For each patient, you need a first and last name and unique patient ID number. Click Save when you're finished. If you haven't done so already, now is the time to attach the lead cables to the patient. Click the blue play button to begin recording. It will take a few seconds to stabilize. You can record as long as you want or stop anytime by pressing stop, the red square icon. Click the horizontal time bar or inside the recording to scroll through the recording. Left click and drag the lead tags to move the leads up or down or out of the way. Click the green check icon at the top to enter your findings and notes. When you're finished, click Save. Double click inside the recording to set a marker and or a comment. If you want to measure a complex, left-click once at the starting point, drag, and left-click again at the end point. Let's try that again for practice. If you want to measure a complex and set a comment, make a double left click at the endpoint instead. Make one more measurement and comment. It may take a little getting used to at first. Click the filter box to apply filters to your recording. You can also use this feature while the recording is in progress. Select Line and Muscle Filter for best results. Adjust the paper speed and signal amplitude. Note that this will not affect the recording, only how the recording is displayed. Click the three-channel button to toggle the screen view between Eindhoven, Goldberger, and chest leads. Click the yellow triangle button at the top to open a side panel that shows all the markers we set. Click on a marker to jump to it.
click on the binoculars button to open a sub-window with the entire recording displayed at a glance. Click on a segment below to see it in the upper window. Click on the small lead label in the bottom left corner to toggle between leads. Click the File Output slash Print button next to the Findings button to print your recording, convert to PDF, or send to Dextronics for analysis, etc. Click the Status button at the top to assign a color to the recording. The meaning of the color is up to you and your team. For example, use green for an uneventful ECG and red for one with major cardiac events, etc. Click the Edit Patient icon to enter additional patient info, for example, medications, medical history, and so forth. If you want to compare two different recordings, select a patient with at least two recordings. Click the Recordings button at the top to see all of the recordings for the current patient. Select a different recording from the same patient and click Recording Comparison. Change the amplitude and or paper speed if necessary. Left click and drag to see different parts of the recordings. Finally, change the channels as needed. Go back to the Archive window now. Sort by first, last name, duration, patient ID, etc. by clicking the up-down arrows. Export a recording by highlighting the recording and clicking Export. Most users choose the BE2 file extension. Name the recording and then click Save. You should now be ready to use the VET ECG with your patients. This concludes the VET ECG software overview video. If you have any questions regarding the software or devices used for recording an ECG, please call 866-744-3427 or email us at info at